guys it's sparkle here what's up welcome back to my channel after a long time i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be redrawing your profile pictures in my style so the first one we have today is from Druvi's sketchbook and i'm so sorry if i pronounced that wrong but before i talk about the drawing i just want to start this video off with a big big thank you because we just hit 200 subscribers not too far back and that is such a big milestone for me and it would not have been possible without you guys so thank you guys so so much for all your support it really really means a lot to me all right now let's talk about this drawing so one of my favorite parts about this drawing is the hair it's so beautiful i love the hairstyle and the way the bow is tied up it's just so cute and the way that the artist colored the hair like that gradient have you seen it it is so smooth and i wasn't able to replicate that exactly but i think i did manage to create something kind of like the original but in my own style and i actually decided to add some roses in the background i hope you don't mind but yeah the only reason i did add the roses was because i thought they just might add a nice pop to the drawing since it is on white paper i didn't want to leave the background white but i love the original so much it looks so beautiful so as always i started off by coloring the skin but i think the point where i did actually start to run into problems was when i started to color in the hair because it started off pretty good and i blended some colors like some pinks and some oranges to create this kind of coral pink color but it didn't exactly match the image i know i could have just left it but i did want to try and get the colors to match so i kind of experimented with some different markers and in the end it um turned out too pink which is why i had to use like crayola pencils to go on top and fix it up but yeah i think overall the final result uh, matches quite well with the color that was in the original profile picture as well so for today's video i did just draw full profile pictures but um that was pretty time consuming because i tried to put in a lot of effort to make sure it turned out pretty good and i really do hope you guys like it but um if i didn't get around to drawing your profile picture and you requested for it don't worry this is just one video and i'm hoping to make more videos like this in the future so there is a really good chance that yours might be in that video and if you'd like me to draw your profile pictures in a future video make sure to send me an email i will have my email address linked down below in the description So as you can see at this point, the hair is leaning more towards the pink side than the orange side and in the reference image I was using with the original profile picture, it was more towards an orange color like almost a coral pink kind of color and I wanted to get that color so I used a Corolla pencil to go on top of the hair and at first I was super worried about whether it would show up and if it would make the colors really muddy or something but I think it worked out pretty well in the end and I used some pink pencil just to add some shading too. And at this point, I have no idea what got into me, but I just randomly decided to color in the background with this kind of yellow and peachy color. And I just thought it might make things more happy and positive, almost like the sun is shining behind her. And I do like how that looks, but it was a very last minute decision. And then now we're going in with the white gel pen highlights and just adding some of those final touches. But anyways, we're finishing up with this drawing and here's how it looks. I really hope you like it. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and let's move on to the next one. Alright then, next up, the profile picture I'm drawing is from Sketches and Scribbles. And this is how it looks. I love the color palette for this drawing. That's like my favorite thing. I just love how the blue background works so well with the blonde hair and the blue top as well. It's so gorgeous. So when I began this drawing, the first thing I wanted to do is get those blue colors set out. So I started off with the blue in the background and then the blue for the t-shirt. And then I went on to the rest of the details. Alright, now as you might be able to tell, the background is looking a bit streaky at this point. And that's just because my blue markers are like one of the first colors in my marker set to run out of ink for some reason. I guess I just love that color a lot. But um, so the marker I was using had run out of ink. But I didn't really realize that before I started coloring. And also this color was the best um, match I could find to the color that they used in the original profile picture. So I pretty much just stuck with it and just I didn't really care about the marker being streaky. But in the end, I'm using a new sketchbook and I think it's the paper that actually helped to even out that streakiness. But afterwards, I did take a blue pencil and go on top, so that problem was solved. And anyways, afterwards, I moved on to coloring the hair, and that was so much fun. I just love coloring hair for some reason, and then we're moving on to the skin. And that's pretty much the same process as always, you know, coloring the base, adding the blush, adding the shading, adding some purple touches here and there, and yeah. Oh, 
Oh, and by the way, for all the profile pictures I read during today's video, I did add some kind of a special touch to them in one way or another. For example, here I added a pink background, and for the rest, you'll find out what I did soon enough. But yeah, we're adding the highlights now, and we're finishing up with this drawing. I hope you like it and now we're moving on to the next one which is for Ankita's sketchbook <laughs> again I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong but look at her profile picture it is so adorable I mean what's not to love about it just look at those colors and look at that cute little face so um I wanted to draw the entire body and when I began sketching in my sketchbook I did try to draw the entire body but um I realized that it meant that either the drawing had to be really small and I couldn't add a lot of details or that I had to take up an entire page for one profile picture drawing. So in the end, I took the decision to just draw a half body kind of drawing and I think that was actually a good idea because it meant I could focus more on the expression and the face and the hair. But at the same time, I would have loved to draw the rest of the outfit and that adorable pose as well. But that's okay, it's a compromise. By the way, I've been meaning to tell you guys, but um, I'm really sorry I haven't been posting frequently for the last couple of weeks. And I am not the kind of person who likes to make excuses at all. And I'm not enjoying this, but um, I'm really sorry I couldn't post. I'm hopefully going to have some free time soon. And that might mean I can probably post more videos than I usually would. So that's exciting. Alright, now is it just me or can anybody else relate to this feeling? Like when you're super busy and you barely have time to draw, that's when you feel like you want to draw, that's when you feel motivated to draw stuff. But then when you do have time to draw, when you're like, alright, I'm going to draw now, and you go and sit down, you look at that blank piece of paper and you just wonder, what do I draw? <laughs> that's the situation I always find myself in, but um, hopefully I can change that. <laughs> but okay, but anyways... Something that I really really like about this profile picture is just how cute the heart on the outfit is and the heart earrings and the paint palette on her head and it's all just so um, positive and bright and happy which is why I decided that I might just add a rainbow in the background since I'm not doing a full body drawing anyway I thought I could add some detail with the rainbow and just make the drawing even more positive so what I did was after I finished up with the coloring I took some Crayola pencils again and just colored in a kind of pastel background and yeah I think it works pretty well with the colors in the outfit and with the entire movie of the drawing. And then I just did a couple more things. I used a white pencil to kind of um, burnish the rainbow and then I added some grey around the circle for dimension. I used the white gel pen for highlights and some more minor details. And then we are pretty much done with this drawing. I really hope you like it. Again, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and we're going to be moving on to the next drawing. Alright then, we're moving on to our last profile picture of the day and it's for Mango Clouds. She is such a nice person, she always comments the sweetest things for my video and she's been supporting me for a really long time. And she has a really cool Roblox channel with these cool edits. You should definitely go check them out. And that reminds me, I did just want to tell you guys that I will have all the channels I drew in today's video linked in the description box. So if you'd like to check them out, you should definitely do so. They're all amazing. And so she has a Roblox channel and her profile picture has this Roblox character. Now, as you can tell, there was a lot of detail in her profile picture. And it would have been really hard for me to capture all that detail in this small circle in my sketch book so I decided to simplify things a bit and instead of adding too much detail I decided to draw her character two Christmas trees and a nice starry um, sky in the background I think my favorite part with the coloring was coloring in her outfit and the background because it was just a plain blue background and then just had to add some styles on top with a white gel pen and um but the parts that i did face difficulty with was probably with the hair and making sure it contrasted with the hat and the mask because they were all white and i had to use like these different kind of grays and light blues to make it work but i think it turned out pretty okay in the end
Alrighty then guys, in the past a lot of you have requested for specific videos and I was actually really happy to hear suggestions but the thing was I was doing the Disney drawing challenge at that time so I didn't have a lot of spare time to commit to both um, the Disney drawing challenge and your suggestion but now we're open to more possibilities so if you do have any suggestions or any specific videos you're interested in or topics for drawing let me know down below in the comments I would love to hear your thoughts. All right, now here I'm just adding some colors to the parts where we have white just to make sure we can differentiate between the different objects and accessories and just to add some shading to make things look better. And then I used some brown just to add some more depth and we're pretty much done with this drawing. This is how it turned out. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. We have all four profile pictures here. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Other than that, have a fabulous day. Stay awesome as always and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys!